Welcome to our discussion on the Zorawar light tank, a mix of a strong armored vehicle and a speedy light tank, made for India's unique battlefield needs. Let's dive into its creation, features, and the story behind its name, showing how it's prepping up to boost India's defense. The Zorawar light tank, also called the Armored Fighting Vehicle Indian Light Tank AFVILT, is a new design that brings together the toughness of an armored combat vehicle and the speed of a light tank. Thanks to a good power-to-weight ratio, Zorawar packs strong firepower, solid protection, and modern communication systems. These features are aimed to help the Indian Army do well across different terrains, ready to face various threats and gear used by enemies. The idea of making the Zorawar light tank came from the need to handle the harsh conditions in high-altitude areas like Ladakh. In these spots, regular tanks like the T-72, T-90, and Arjun Mk-1 and Arjun Mk-2 struggle due to the tough environment. They find it hard to move around, showing a clear need for better armored vehicles in India's mountainous regions. This is where Zorawar comes in. It's a light tank made for high-altitude warfare, aiming to fix the movement and operation problems that the old tanks faced in such places. The easy movement, speed, and lighter weight of the Zorawar light tank are designed to work better across the rough landscapes of high-altitude terrains, tackling a big operational issue. If we talk about the specifications, at the core of Zorawar's shooting power is a 105M rifled main gun that can fire armor-piercing discarding sabot and high-explosive squash head ammunition. There's also a coaxial machine gun to boost the tank's attack power on the battlefield. Even with its strong weapons, Zorawar's design keeps its weight under 25 tons, which is important for its high power-to-weight ratio, making it quick and easy to move across different terrains. Zorawar works well thanks to a three-man crew made up of a commander, gunner, and driver. This setup makes sure the tank's systems are well managed during battles. The tank gets its power from a high-altitude operable power pack, which includes an engine and transmission unit with a horsepower of 1000. This power pack is crucial for reliable power delivery when working in high-altitude areas where thin air can affect engine performance. Zorawar also comes with modern tech features like artificial intelligence capabilities and drone integration. These tech additions are key in improving the tank's working efficiency, real-time data handling, decision-making, and understanding of the battlefield. Plus, Zorawar can work in water too, which means it can be used in more combat scenarios near shores. Naming this tank Zorawar is a way to honor a respected figure in Indian military history, General Zorawar Singh Kalariya. He was a warrior from the 19th century known for his victories that expanded the Dagra Kingdom. His military adventures in the Himalayan area are remembered as great examples of military skill and the strong will to secure and defend land. The Zorawar light tank, made to handle the tough high-altitude areas of the Himalayas, reflects General Zorawar Singh's historic journeys in the same rough places. This name link aims to inspire and connect with the brave spirit of the Indian Army, as it strengthens its position in the important northern areas. The making of the Zorawar light tank shows India's growing ability to take care of its own defense needs, with homemade solutions leading the way. The teamwork between the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO and Larson and Tubro L&T is a real example of the Make in India initiative. The tank was first shown at DEF Expo 2022, preparing the ground for its possible joining the Indian Army, with plans to have it ready by 2023. However, making Zorawar wasn't easy. The goal to have a good power-to-weight ratio while keeping strong firepower and solid protection brought up major design and engineering challenges. The aim was to make a light tank that could handle the tough landscapes of high-altitude areas without losing out on firepower or protection. In the tense Himalayan region, where the borders stir up ongoing tensions between India, China, and Pakistan, the Zorawar light tank steps up as a key player in India's defense plans. 
As India deals with the complex political situations on its northern edges, the Zora War stands as a symbol of better military readiness, made to handle the special demands of high-altitude warfare. China's efforts to update its tank units, shown by bringing in the Type 15 light tanks made for mountain warfare, shows a clear attempt to get a leg up in the Himalayan area. The Zora War, with its ability to operate in high altitudes, is a well-thought-out response to ensure India isn't left behind in the tank battles in the rough landscapes of the Himalayas. Now, let's compare this with China's VT-5 light tank. The VT-5 is also made for mountain areas, but it's a bit heavier, and it also has a 105M main gun like the Zora War. However, it doesn't have the same modern tech features as the Zora War, which could give Zora War an edge in being more versatile and aware on the battlefield. If we talk about Pakistan's VT-4, it is totally different. It's a heavier main battle tank meant for flat lands and desert fighting, weighing around 52 tons, and comes with a 125mm smoothbore gun. Unlike the Zora War which is good for high altitudes, the VT-4 is more about traditional tank warfare. The planned cost for buying the Zora War light tank is set to be around 16,000 crore rupees, covering the purchase of 354 tanks. This project falls under a special category, where the Indian Army wants private companies to help with making the tanks. It highlights the goal to support local defense manufacturing and cut down on buying foreign military goods, which is the idea behind the Make in India movement. So, the money spent on the Zora War project isn't just a cost but an investment to grow a local defense industry, boosting India's ability to fight in high places and keep its borders safe. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us on this detailed journey exploring the Zora War light tank. If you like the information, like and share the video and for more informative content, subscribe to our channel.